propellers, rubber bands, scissors, glue, paints and brushes. First of all, I will take this mount board. We are going to make a propeller plane. This I have made out of paper and mount board. Make a shape of the basic body. If you want, you can take the reference from any magazine also. And as you can see, at the back I have made two small grooves where we can add the rear wings and the tail. Now as you can see, this propeller works with a rubber band which I have fixed over here like this. For that, we have to make a cavity where I can make another small groove like this. Here we will attach the wings. Okay. So let's cut it out. So this is the basic shape which we have cut out. Now I will cut it in the middle so that the cavity which we have made can easily be cut and taken out. Over here you can see we have cut the cavity. Now I will take a bamboo stick and stick it here on the upper part of the small groove which we have made. Until it is drying up, we will make the wings of the plane. To make the wings, I am using chart paper. We will make the basic shape of the wings on this. This wing is for the upper side and the one for the lower side is a little curved. I have to curve it a bit at the edges. Now to cut it out, this is the shape of the wing. Now we have to make the rear wings which are almost half the size of the front wings as you can see. I will take a small piece of chart paper and then make a shape on this also. As you can see, the small grooves which we have made inside here are for the wings to be fitted. So for that, what we have to do is cut a small groove here so that it fits easily. Now what we have to do is once again connect both the parts. But for joining them at the front and the back, I will fix the pieces of the empty ballpoint pen refill. I am joining these because we will connect the propeller of our plane from here. Put masking tape on both the sides so the wings are here and this is the body. To make the propeller, I am using this plastic propeller. It comes with small toys. It has a stick connected to it and this helps to fly. This is quite a big one, so we will cut it. Now I will show you how it is connected. First we will take a thumb pin and make a hole in it. Now I am taking a U-clip and I open it up like this. Then I take this plastic and press it lightly. With a scissor, I cut it out in a way that it comes out easily. Put it inside this and on this side to lock it up, what I'm going to do is use a bead. Watch this, I put the bead inside and fold the wire like this and that's how it gets locked. And the empty ballpoint pen refill has to be put inside this and once again fold the end like this. As you can see, the propeller rotates very easily inside this. In the same way, at the back also, we have to fix a U-clip so that we can put a rubber band on it and fix it here. The extra bit can be folded and fixed exactly over here. And from the other half of the small wing, we will make the tail. For that, we will make a small triangle shape. And in it, I will make a small cavity so that the tail fits easily into it. And it becomes the rear wing. Come, now let's join all the parts. Then take some masking tape. And what we do is on the lower side, stick it. And on the top, we will fix the tail of the plane. What I had done here is made a small groove and had kept it at a slant. This was because when we put the wings, they get stuck over here in a slant and for that, just press it a bit. When it flies and cuts through the air, the air passes above it and gives it a thrust. So it moves upwards and flying becomes very easy. To make the flight even more easy, I am taking both the wings from the center and folding them upwards in this fashion. But so that it retains its shape, what we'll have to do is take a U-clip, open it like this and fold it in the middle at an angle in which we want. After the U-clip is stuck, it will not bend downwards again. Apply some glue and stick it here like this. And so that it remains in this position, I have cut a small thin piece of mount board which is a little slanting towards the front. Stick it on the wing like this so that the wing remains permanently stuck. You can see that the plane is ready so that it can easily stand up. I have with me these big U-clips as you can see with which we will make the legs. So these are the legs. Now we can make it a little more impressive by adding color. If you want, you can do some detailing or else you can stick some things on it. But be careful not to stick anything too heavy. And now with this, a plane is ready. I told you that we had to put a rubber band on it. First on the U-clip in the front and then U-clip at the back. Then turn it around. 
Okay, get ready for the test flight. To make a plane, first make the basic shape of the plane on the mount board. Cut it very cleanly. Now make the cavity where the rubber band will be fitted and which will rotate the propeller of your plane. To attach the rubber band and the propeller, you can use the empty refill of a ballpoint pen. For the propeller, you can take a plastic propeller which will be attached to the tip of the plane with the help of a U-clip and a bead. To make the wings, you can use chart paper. The rear wing will be half the size of the front wing and the tail of the plane will be half the size of the rear wing. With the help of the U-clips, you can even attach the legs to the plane. After that, you can paint it with any color of your choice or stick some things on it. Or you can make interesting patterns or designs and your plane will be absolutely ready. Do you have any idea which was the world's first air mail service? You will never guess. It was Mr. Harvey's Pigeon Post Service in Australia, which used pigeons to deliver important messages. And in fact, one particular pigeon was even given a bravery award because he delivered 12 very important messages during World War I and was even shot once. So wherever you go during the short break, just like these homey pigeons, make your way back to Matt because after the break, you are going to see some drops flying out.